anabolic Reese's peanut butter ice cream milkshake. That's what we're making today. It is incredible. This has been about 20 times I have tested out this recipe to get it exactly how I wanted it. And I think you guys will enjoy it too. We're not using cereal in this one. We're using a real Reese's. These are the thin version, but we're still gonna get some of the real thing. And we're even gonna get some of the regular peanut butter as well. So far, my other recipes have gotten nothing but great feedback. I'm hoping this one will be the same. And I kinda wanna see which which one you guys think is better, Remington's or mine? Remington seems super fluffy. I did have his a couple times and I went completely on my own recipe and started from scratch to see what would work best. And that's probably why it takes me so many times, but that's how I think I actually perfect my own style of recipe as well. So this one's not gonna be as thick. You will need to drink it within a certain amount of time, but it's going to be delicious. You will be able to have Reese's in almost every bite and you will also get little dabs of peanut butter real peanut butter throughout the milkshake and it's going to be so good. Like every time I'm ready to record, I'm just thinking how much you guys will like this. Let's not waste any more time. Let's make some ice cream and you know what time it is. Let's get into it. We have our scale with our blender with a plate on it so it's easier to balance. Now we're gonna start with our wet ingredients. So first, Greek yogurt, 170 grams. Non-fat, AKA 0%. And as I've said before, if you're a gram or two off, that is okay. 164, 168, 170.1. Beautiful. That's the worst part of the day. Then we have our milk. I got skim milk. You can use cashew milk, you can use almond milk, you can use water, you can do whatever you want, but we need five ounces of it or 140 grams. Boom, 141.1, that's okay. Still gonna work just fine. Now that's it for our wet ingredients. Now we go to our dry ingredients. What I found luck doing is putting the stuff that thickens up first. I'm gonna start with the guar gum. You could use xanthan gum too, but we're doing three grams. Mine is a 0.1 scale, that's why I like mine. So I try to get three grams on the dot because with guar gum, pretty much every decimal point counts because it really does make it thick if you overdo it just even a little bit too much. Just a little bit more, a little bit. Three grams guar gum. And the last one, I used four grams. Why am I changing it? Well, because the PB2 makes it thicker. You don't need as much guar gum. We were doing 20 grams of PB2 or PB fit or whatever, which would be a serving and a quarter because it's 16 grams in a serving. Add them four grams. We got a serving and a quarter, 20 grams. All right, good there. I like to make mine a little bit more real chocolatey, so I'm gonna add cocoa. This is pure cocoa. If you eat the cocoa by itself, it doesn't taste very good. There's no sweetener in it, nothing to make it taste good. I would not recommend you uh, just take a little bit of this cocoa and put it in your mouth because you'll be majorly disappointed, like I have been before. But we're gonna add five grams of cocoa to give it that real taste. 16.4, beautiful. Now, I'm adding creatine. This is optional. I'm doing this because this is the time of day that I eat my creatine is after my workout. But you can eat creatine whenever you want. Morning, noon, night does not matter. I use bodybuilding brand protein. You don't have to use bodybuilding brand protein. You can use whatever you want. I do love their products. The chocolate isn't as good as the vanilla or the oatmeal cookie, but it is still above average, a good chocolate protein, especially for the price that you get it at. But we're using a scoop and a quarter of whatever protein you use. So for me, 34 grams is a scoop. So I'm going to do about eight to nine grams over that, which would be 42 or 43 grams. 42.5, perfect, right in the middle. This is one of the ones where I do use salt. I know Iron Musket says to put a little bit of salt, it brings out the flavor. I haven't thus far, but when I was experimenting with this, I did feel that the salt really helps with the Reese's peanut butter cups and everything. That's like a pinch, literally. If I put too much in my hand, I'll just put like half of it in and dump the other half into the sink. You really don't need much. Man, I should have put this earlier because this will also thicken it up. This has xanthan gum in it, but we're gonna use about seven grams. I have chocolate fudge. You could use chocolate. I think chocolate fudge is a tad bit better. It's not so much better, but anything I can do to make it better, I will. You can get that pretty much anywhere. Now, because of the cocoa being not sweetened at all, I do have to put a little bit more sucralose than I'm used to or the artificial sweetener. So I'm putting nine grams in. This is once again, something I had to experiment with to make sure it was still sweet, but not overly sweet but not also tasting kind of, I don't know, not so good. I don't know how to describe it, but nine grams, beautiful. All of our dry ingredients are in, so now we just have to add the ice. This time, we are adding 480 grams of ice. It's always different. The anabolic mint Oreo milkshake was different than the Cinnamon Toast Crunch milkshake Then is different than this milkshake. I'll have the list of everything in the description, as well as if you wanna see any of the products that I use, you can also look at that in the description as well. Check it out if you want to learn more. 
All right, so I zeroed this out and we're doing 480 grams. Now if it's 482, that's okay. If it's 478, that's okay. Right around 480. See, 486, I do want to take a little bit out. All right, 482. I'll take it. I'm gonna chop two Reese's Thins up while this is mixing. I put them in the freezer so it's easier to chop them up and they don't get all melty and all that stuff and they hold well in the ice cream once they're in the ice cream. Pro tip, just throw whatever, two or four or six, however many Reese's Thins that you want to use in the future so you can just grab them, cut them up and add them to your milkshake. Also, I'm going to add Skippy peanut butter. Now, we're having real peanut butter. You don't have to add this. You don't have to add the Reese's Thins. It does add about 150, 160 calories, but it makes it that much better. It's like you're having a real milkshake. You won't be able to really tell a difference between this and a milkshake that you would get from an ice cream store. Eight to nine out of 10, like it's very close. I actually bought an Oberweiss pint to try, and the Oberweiss, of course, is better, but it's really not by that much. We're gonna add eight grams, which is a fourth of a serving, which is like 45 calories. I'm going to melt it in the microwave for about 30 seconds, and we're going to add it all in after we mix everything up. I'll see you in exactly one minute. Okay, bye. All right, we're back. I didn't even get to chop up my Reese's yet, but this is another good tip. If you're going to use a plate like I use it, you can actually use the plate to chop up your Reese's on and throw it away afterwards. Makes it easy. All right, I'm just going to give this a good mix. Make sure you just get everything on the sides. Honestly, the transformation from minute one to minute two of blending is pretty crazy. It goes from like four cups all the way up to like seven. But just try to get the chunks mixed up so you really don't have any ice chunks. I've really tried to get it to where you could barely tell there's even ice in there to where they're literally just like little slivers of ice. <sighs> It's already so good. Yes. All right, one more minute and we will have a finished product besides putting our mixins in. I feel like that's what Culver's mixins? Garn. Uh, mixins, garnishes, whatever. Okay, bye. All right, we're back. Ice cream's ready, or milkshake is ready, should I say. The great thing about this melted peanut butter, which you don't have to add, but the great thing about it is it really helps actually break down some of these little tiny ice chunks so that once you sit down and you're ready to eat, it's time to eat. And everything's mixed in, can't tell the difference. Oh my God. All right, you should be doing this with a spatula. Notice to all of you, but this is so damn good already. All right. Uh, usually I don't waste any of that, but we got a recipe to show you guys. Almost gonna drop the Reese's Thins on the counter, but we're gonna add these in, get them all in there. I'm gonna add some of this peanut butter, just a little bit, cause I wanna spread it throughout. So I'm gonna put about half of the eight grams in there. And you would be surprised, you're like eight grams, Nick, that ain't shit. Well, sounds like it's not shit. But until you add it in there and you mix it up and then you get those bites of real peanut butter and Reese's Thins, you're gonna be like, wow, what a boost to this recipe it is. Thank you, Nick. As long as you have the calories, of course. If you don't have the calories, don't add the peanut butter, don't add the Reese's Thins. It's still a great recipe without it. But I highly recommend it if you do have the extra 100, 150 calories because you don't have to make Nick-sized milkshakes. You can make half the milkshake and then have 300 calories and have Reese's and have peanut butter and have everything that you want in your life. It's a beautiful thing. All right, this is pretty mixed up here. I'm gonna add the rest of this peanut butter. And I never said this is like a super clean process. So yeah, you're gonna lick your finger. Yeah, your hands are gonna get dirty. Yeah, you're gonna have to wash your hands. But if you're not washing your hands nowadays, what really are you doing? Add the rest of your peanut butter. We're gonna mix the rest of this up. And I decided it was time to move on from 7-Eleven plastic cups onto the big leagues. And so I haven't drank beer in a while. So what better use to use a pitcher than to have a goddamn anabolic milkshake in it every time I eat it. We're gonna go ahead and pour, and I'm gonna show you guys a close-up of what this looks like when you're pouring it in. This is beautiful. Just look how much you get. You don't even need to eat this much. But I'm showing you that for right around 600 calories here, you can eat this whole thing. Your stomach, right here, about that big, okay? Okay? I'm stuffed after I eat this. I don't even have to say any words when I show you that. Like, it's just so evident that this is what you should do. Even half of this will fill you up, most people up. I can eat a lot. Oh, hell yeah. Like, this is literally filled to the brim. Like, if I spill this in any way, it's gonna come right out. God, it's so 
beautiful. Thank you, Greg. I haven't done my shout out yet, and I should have already. Thank you, Greg, for showing me how to make these protein ice creams, because now I live a full life instead of a hungry life. I don't eat this one all the time. My cinnamon toast corn is only like 400 calories, and I don't always put Reese's and peanut butter in it, because without it, it's about 450 calories. So you can do this however you want. It's so easily modifiable that you can make it to your taste. All right, so you're like, Nick, how many calories is in this picture? I almost feel like this is back in grade school and they fill the thing up with like jelly beans. And they're like, how many jelly beans is in here? Whoever guesses it gets the full thing of jelly beans. This is very similar. It's like, how many calories is really in this fat thing of a pitcher of a milkshake? Well, I'm glad you asked because I'll tell you right now. All right, so we have 614 calories, 16 grams of fat, most of which comes from that quarter thing of peanut butter, 49 grams of carbs, and 72 grams of protein. You can't beat it. Have half of it, 306 calories, 36 grams of protein, and Reese's and peanut butter and everything that's real, not fake. Yes, you have PB Fit, but once you mix it in and then you get chunks of real Reese's and then you get little dabs of peanut butter that's real, 100%, been having it for about two and a half weeks, have had it about 20 to 30 times, trying to perfect it, but I never got sick of it, and I never was a huge Reese's person. You are going to love this if you try it, and I ask you, if you've had Remington's before, and you've now had mine, tell me which one is better. I don't really care. I'm just curious what people's tastes are and what people like. So if you like Remington's better, that's fine. I would just like to know what the reason is so I can modify some of my ice creams to make them better. But I really enjoy this. There's no cereal, all real Reese's, all real peanut butter. One thing is if you try to modify the PB2, you're going to mess with the thickness a lot. I was trying to do 24 grams of the PB Fit, then 16 grams. Neither one was good. I did 22 grams. I did 18 grams. I finally ended at 20 grams. I was experimenting a lot with the PB Fit because between that and the Jello, it makes it thicker. And then it's like, okay, well now how much xanthan gum do I put in there? If you're going to mess with anything, I would mess with like the sugar and all that other stuff or else you're going to be playing, okay, now it's too thick. Now it's too thin. I don't like it like this. This is a perfect milkshake consistency if that's what you're looking for. Also, if you use vanilla protein powder, I'm sure it's fine. You may need to add another scoop of cocoa into it. I'm not 100% sure, but I would think that you would to make it more chocolatey because five grams really isn't a lot of chocolate when it's only those five grams. This was chocolate protein too. So I would add more cocoa, but you also might have to add more sugar because the cocoa, like I said, does not taste very good by itself. You might have to add more sugar. At the end of the day, you're gonna be able to make it, make it how you like it, let's eat get full, feel good, get shredded. I'm gonna come out with more protein ice creams. I wanna hear what you guys want because I'm trying to make what you guys would like. And it's pumpkin spice season. So there may or may not be a pumpkin spice anabolic ice cream on the way. But until next time, I will see you in that next one. Do sis.